Hello, and welcome back to Shop Poetry. Happy April Fool's Day, everyone. I've realised this is a bit of a strange year to be April fooling, and so I'm going to do something a little bit different this year. Instead of playing pranks and making it a day for comedy, I am going to read a poem that would certainly be classed as a tragedy. This is The Tay Bridge Disaster by William Topaz McGonagall. Beautiful railway bridge of the Silvery Tay, alas, I am very sorry to say that 90 lives have been taken away on the last Sabbath day of 1879, which will be remembered for a very long time. It was about seven o'clock at night, and the wind blew with all its might, and the rain came pouring down, and the dark clouds seemed to frown, and the demon of the air seemed to say, I'll blow down the Bridge of Tay. When the train left Edinburgh, the passengers' hearts were light and felt no sorrow, but Boreas blew a terrific gale which made their hearts for to quail. And many of the passengers with fear did say, I hope God will send us safe across the Bridge of Tay. But when the train came near to Wormit Bay, Boreas he did loud and angry bray, and shook the central girders of the Bridge of Tay on the last Sabbath day of 1879, which will be remembered for a very long time. So the train sped on with all its might, and Bonnie Dundee soon hove in sight, and the passengers' hearts felt light, thinking they would enjoy themselves on the new year, with their friends at home they loved most dear, and wished them all a happy new year. So the train moved slowly along the bridge of Tay, until it was about midway. Then the central girders of the crash gave way, and down went the train and passengers into the Tay. The storm fiend did loudly bray, because ninety lives had been taken away on the last Sabbath day of 1879, which will be remembered for a very long time. As soon as the catastrophe came to be known, the alarm from mouth to mouth was blown, and the cry rang out all o'er the town, Good heavens, the Tay Bridge is blown down! And a passenger train from Edinburgh, which filled all the people's hearts with sorrow, and made them for to turn pale, because none of the passengers were saved to tell the tale, how the disaster happened on the last Sabbath day of 1879, which will be remembered for a very long time. It must have been an awful sight to witness in the dusky moonlight, while the storm fiend did laugh and angry did bray along the railway bridge of the Silvery Tay. O oh, ill-fated bridge of the Silvery Tay! I must now conclude my lay by telling the world fearlessly without the least dismay that your central girders would not have given way, at least many sensible men do say, had they been supported on each side with buttresses, at least many sensible men confesses, for the stronger we our houses do build, the less chance we have of being killed. It took me multiple takes to be able to say that with a straight face. McGonagall was known as the worst poet in the English language, and luckily for the rest of us, he was also a very prolific poet. So there's a nearly endless supply of train disasters, bridge disasters. He really enjoyed writing about disasters, and he did it so beautifully badly. Thank you so much for joining me this April Fool's Day, and I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. Please come back for the next one.